Hey, After Buzzers, thank you guys for joining us for another special edition of the Southern Charm New Orleans After Show. We have Jeff Charleston today interviewing with us via Skype, and we're talking about all things Southern Charm. Plus, we're going to find out how he really feels about Reagan moving on. It's all coming up. You're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz so, it's hey. Friday. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Nice little hey. uh, long weekend hey. for everyone. I, know. I think, hopefully. Holiday week. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> holiday weekend. Thank you guys again uh, for joining us today. Like I said, special edition. We have Jeff in uh, the building with us. But first, introduce ourselves. I am Elle Marie, and I have my lovely co-host here with me. Hey, guys. I am Ashley Marie. Yes, so and let's give a here. big welcome to Jeff Charleston yes. joining us today. <laughs> we are Thank lucky girls. Yes, yeah, good to see you. How are you today? I'm great. Look, it's Fourth of July weekend. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah. Essence, it's Essence Festival in New Orleans, and the city's crazy right yeah. now. Yeah. How'd you celebrate yesterday? Uh, I rode a motorcycle all day yesterday, so nice. um, it was, I exercised my freedom for sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Um, so I just want to go ahead and just get into it. Yeah. So we know um, last season we saw you kind of having like a little bit of a struggle adjusting to like life after football. And now, so I just kind of want to know where you are now uh, with everything, with work, and just how is life after football? Uh, you know, life after football, look, I have uh, I work for a hospital right now, so I've been training people. You know, look, I got to train John Moody over the summer. We and him really, me and him really bonded. And look, it's, it's difficult because you're part of a team. You're part of, you know, it's hard to transition mm-hmm. out. I've trained a lot of players. I know two guys currently that are coming out, you know, that played and they're just currently in like their first couple years of being out of the NFL. And it's tough. It's an identity. You identify with it's something that you've played your entire life. Right. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of money to do it. And it's one of the best sports in the world. And then when that's just taken away from you that you don't have it anymore, it's tough. It's tough to find a new identity. You mm-hmm. know, it's really just mm-hmm. finding yourself again. So, I'm in a much better place now, you know, mm-hmm. coming up with this episode. I would say for this season, this is one of the low points. And you're going to see why. You're going to see, you know, you go through this roller coaster of emotions. And, mm-hmm. you know, I lost my uh, job and I lost my wife. And, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I told everyone everything's all right. Yeah. So uh, I think a lot of people do that. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't have, you know, someone like Tamika in their life to call them on their, on their BS. Yeah. Right. <laughs> You know, it's, uh, I have a really good group of friends and we've seen that look to have someone like, yeah, who's making, which one of your friends is going to come in and give you a makeover, you know? (laughs) So, you know, with John Moody, he really just wanted to get me out back out there. And, um, you know, it was a huge help. It was a huge help and just kind of loving myself again. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, look, this is, this is probably one of my harder episodes to watch. Yeah. Just because, you know, I let, uh. You know, I let myself, uh, I was vulnerable and I let myself down. Mm. Now, I know um, last season you were in, you went, you were in therapy. You went to a few sessions. Are you still in therapy? Are you still doing some type of exercise to kind of help you out? Yeah, look, I, I would definitely tell you that later, later on, <laughs> probably the next episode, uh, <laughs> leading into this one, yes, I do see my therapist again mm-hmm. and uh, I have seen him. And I've done some other things, too, that we will, uh, I think, evolves in this season that I'm currently doing. So um, personal growth. Every day is a chance to grow and be a little bit better than yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's always been my motto. I always believe that we have to build character. And I really, I appreciate, even though this season was tough, I went through a lot. And I was, I opened up and I shared everything. And I, no one wants to, you know, it was really kind of a, a, you know, I had to come back from uh, devastation. Yeah. So. Right. So what is your current relationship like with Reagan? How are things going? Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> look, we, uh, look, it, it's kind of one of those things where, you know, you. I don't want to give away too much. Okay. Because there's a lot that happens in this season. Mm-hmm. Uh, because we're only at the point where episode one, we announced our divorce episode two, we, uh, I met the boyfriend episode three, um, you know, she's engaged. Mm-hmm. And at this point, look, we had episode four and I, I don't know if she's pregnant. Right. Right. So everyone else does. Uh, now, obviously now I know cause she's already had a baby, but, um, 
So I just kind of want to leave it at that because there's really you're going to see it, everything will play out in this season, and mm-hmm. you will you will get an idea of well, okay, well, how to there there's a lot to come. I know I know that mm-hmm. um, just from because you know a lot a lot of us everyone's like oh you're you're told what to say you're told look this is all real. Mm-hmm. The thing that we don't know is we don't know. We don't watch it as an audience member, and so we don't get to see these shows until right before they come out. Mm-hmm. So everyone thinks, so you go do interviews, whatever, you know, look, I'm, I'm watching this like everyone else, and it's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's always uh, interesting to see, be like, oh, man, I was, yeah. such, a, I was such an a-hole, or I was, oh, man, I actually wasn't that bad. Yeah. So, so w- where are you at now with the thoughts on her being married and the pregnancy? I'm sure you went through... Uh, myriad of emotions you know throughout we'll see that play out throughout this season but at this point today july 5th where are you with your feelings and thoughts on reagan's pregnancy and uh, marriage uh it came at me fast we've seen that already yeah Uh, Mm -hmm. um, but what currently how am i much better place much better place than where I was, you know, when, when we filmed this and what's about to happen, you mm-hmm. know, in the next couple episodes. So right now I'm currently in a much better spot. I don't <laughs> think I'd be a, I don't think I'd be on a motorcycle. I don't think mm-hmm. I'd be doing all this stuff yeah. if I wasn't in a good spot. It's not like I'm having a, you know, uh, midlife crisis or anything, but, uh, <laughs> right. and let me just say you handled everything so far, like a charm. <laughs> We have a special yeah. segment on the show called Charm of the Week, and I always give my charm to you because you handled all of the things that were coming at you from Reagan's revelations mm-hmm. like a charm, and you really held your own well. So kudos to you on that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Look, that's the one that I get a lot of messages from people. You know, people are messaging me on Instagram saying, like, man, if that would have been me, I would have flipped the table. I would have. And I said, oh, just wait. Just wait. Oh, you, you, you can, look, I'm not perfect, and uh, I try to handle. Look, I'm always trying to save face. I'm always trying to mm-hmm. just like, oh, come on, come on, come on. Because look, every coach always told me, look, you got more to lose. You got to walk away. You got to walk away. It's always the second guy that gets thrown for the penalty. And um, so I just I try to walk away. A lot of times, it, you know, I run away. But do you uh, think <laughs> that's why you were telling yourself? Oh, everything's fine. I'm not bothered. Like you had that hashtag unbothered situation going on strong. Do you think that's why you held on to that so strongly? What? Why is that now? Um, do you think that's why just your previous training in football? Do you think that's no, why absolutely. you you absolutely. kept that I mean, you straight to, face? Look, it's it's yeah, it's suppression. Yeah, you know, it's, it's just look. We that's behind me. Let's move forward. Right. And instead of actually dealing with it, you know, I've gotten this one thing that, you know, my friend that helped me with is, um, hey, no, let's process this. Let's deal with it. Why are mm-hmm. you feeling this way? Instead of just being, well, look, I'm all right. Let's go forward. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. going to come out at some point. We all know that. It's going to boil over. Oh, yeah, for so. sure. And now, like you said, things kind of came at you fast. Now, Tamika kind of hinted at this a little bit, like she had her suspicions. But do you think that uh, Reagan and Reese were probably kind of getting together before you guys have figured everything out? Like before you got to the divorce part, do you think think there was a relationship there? um, You know, that's obviously everyone's asking that. Everyone that's obviously a thing that, look, you cheated, you cheated Um, from a technical standpoint. Look, when we said we were done, we were done. Mm-hmm. Um, we were separated. It was very quick on when she moved on, but it, she never cheated on me. That's yeah. the one thing Reagan, Reagan can't keep a cigarette and she can't lie. <laughs> they, they, like this is, I mean, you see, look, she goes into the party. You can see, you know, it's it, funny watching it like play out, but like mm-hmm. even at the party, she's like, even Reese is like, look, we're not just going to go upstage every party. And she still had to tell Somebody, Kelsey. Yeah. She's like, oh, I'm <laughs> pregnant. By the way, I'm pregnant. Like she just she moves very fast Mm -hmm. and look i know i know from a standpoint it was when we were on the rocks and we were having our troubles it was like hey we're done Mm -hmm. and she just didn't wait you know she didn't wait to move on and i don't think she can be alone i don't think i think that's look she's gonna have uh probably issues to deal with that but that's that's on her but i know she didn't cheat to me i mean she she can't keep a secret she would have told someone Mm-hmm. She would have told someone, and she would have been like, look, I was seeing him while I was with Jeff. Right. It didn't happen. Was our divorce, divorce finalized? No. But at the same time, it was... You guys we were, were done. Do you... Okay, so last episode, you told Reagan that she was walking into more problems than she just walked away from. What yeah. did you mean by that? 
<laughs> uh, just, you know, from the, the limited knowledge that I've been around Reese, just with, you know, he seems to drink a lot. And like, obviously, I drink a lot and run, but I don't drink that often. <laughs> he had a gambling problem. He never really left home. Mm. You know, just all these things where it's just like, look, I know Reagan, I don't, what Reagan likes to do. She likes to travel. She likes to, you know, it's all these things. And I'm like, really? You just want to be, I don't know. So it just, it seemed like a thing where there was going to be more problems, but if, as long as they love each other and they're creating a family, good for them. Do you feel like she downgraded with Reese? <laughs> um, uh, I mean, all I can say is that he used to wear his mom's clothes and isn't afraid to share that. So, um, <laughs> Uh, you know, he was, he proposed in a horse stall. I, I don't have to say anything. I okay. Mean, <laughs> we'll right, take that as a yes. Yeah. We'll take that as a yes. That's a yes. <laughs> I'm just going to state facts and uh, leave it at that. Okay. All right. So oh, I want to know, what does Jeff Charleston look for in a woman? You, you're back out here dating. Yeah. Trying to meet new people. Um, so what are you looking for? What am I looking for? Look, it's, I'm kind of figuring that out. I'm figuring out what's the most compatible with me. Mm. Um, I think my biggest thing is I'm not trying to rush love where, nice. you know, just from the show and from everything that's going on, everyone's like, oh, marry me. You know, it's yeah. like I'm yeah. dealing with a lot of people want it, especially the South. And I've told people oh, this, yeah. look, the South, compared to like the West Coast, the South is like a relationship is like dog years. Like every year, to you, you know, every month you're together is like seven months. No, for real. And <laughs> I mean, it's just the South, like it's honestly how it is. It's crazy down here. Like people are like, you can't just like casually date someone. You can't just, you know, it's like, hey, we're seeing each other, we're, um, only seeing you. It's just what it is. Like they want, they want it to be defined. They want it to be laid out. It's like, oh. okay, where's this going? Where's this going in yeah. three weeks? It's like, oh, I don't, I don't know. know. I'm, getting, yeah. I'm getting to know you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. so um, I think someone that's laid back, obviously, um, someone that likes to be that be outdoors, someone that's active, because that's very important in my life is to you know be active, to work out, to eat healthy, to just really enjoy life. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm moving at a pace I never have. Um, I don't know if I'm really supposed to announce this or not, but I've stopped drinking. I've stopped, you know, I've started being a lot healthier. Hey, and, no, uh, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, it's made a world of difference in my life, but, um, I, everything about it, like it's having good friends. It's having good mm -hmm. friends and you're going to see our relationships, you know, some are going to go this way, some are going to go that way. And uh, I think everyone's going to be surprised by the end. Yeah. I just, I want to know, like, so, okay, you had your first date in eight years so like yeah. dates are like nerve wracking as it is. But um, speaking of your drinking, you know, you said you were like very, very drunk when you approached the young lady or like kind of didn't remember her. Oh, so yeah, I want to know, yeah. do you remember kind of like your pickup line or what you said to her for her to accept the date? <laughs> Yo, no, I do. I, I, okay. I remember because I went through the text and it was like, you know, because I called her. I mean, obviously, like with, you know, before that date, I said, hey, what's going on, you know? Um, would you like to go on a date tonight? And so we were talking on the phone before the date even started. And she said, yeah, and it probably was edited out or something like that. But it was like, yeah, we were talking and somehow like divorce came up. I'm like, no way. You're divorced too. Like me too. I just got divorced. Oh, okay. That's so, cute. Like, we were both <laughs> so that was the pickup line. That was like the commonality. So I would think, I think it's just like finding something that's in common with each other. Like, uh, you know, always it's like you can comment on, you know, on the way they look, on what they're wearing, on the mm -hmm. that's the one thing with like being married and especially like being with Reagan. It was like I got exposed to a lot more fashion and stuff like that. And so like I notice things now about what women wear and like what uh, you know, what what the shoe if the shoes are complimenting, if they're not complimenting, if it like all this stuff where I'm like, Man, why do I know this? Why do I <laughs> why you know, it's like I do appreciate things like that more and it's like sometimes I'm like man but when you spend enough time like when you're married like you get trained a little bit and uh okay. it's just what it is but I'm trying to uh forget a lot of that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's the one thing you miss about married life and what's one thing that you realize you missed about single life <sighs> what I miss the most about married life would probably be uh nothing and <laughs> okay <laughs> so does that mean you're not gonna get, get remarried <laughs> no i get remarried look the, okay. 
<laughs> the security, nothing. obviously the security, like okay. the security of being married, like the planning of like, okay, well, look, I don't have to, you know, it's, I don't know, always having someone on your side. I think that's what I miss. Mm -hmm. It's like, no matter where I go, but at the same time, I love that about single life. I love not having to have baggage um Ooh, okay. <laughs> literally and physically like when i travel now i can travel really light i don't have to carry someone's suitcase um, <laughs> and i love that that i love being single again because it's just me to, look i the the one thing is you get really tight you get really close with one person mm. about being single now is i've got six different groups of friends that i'm bouncing around i get to see different people i get to you know it's just it's different parts of the city it's i don't have to i don't have to plan anything i get to just and i don't want to plan anything right now mm -hmm. it's just i get to bounce i get to roam it's the freedom of doing everything it's doing it on the whim i love that like now when people call me it's like hey what are you doing I'm like i don't have to i don't have to get permission i want to see if my wife is ready to go or wants to go and like now it's just like drop of a hat i can go anywhere mm -hmm. and i love that i mm -hmm. love that so, so you like that freedom that you kind of have now yeah 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 it's freedom and it's just yeah yeah so he's enjoying it yeah oh i love it i, love <laughs> I, know, I, can't, correction, I, I love it out and yell it out <laughs> Yeah. A fan took to Twitter a few weeks ago and she said that she would love to see you settle down with a nice black woman and John Moody co-signed. So we want to know, have you ever dated a black woman? I have dated a black woman. Actually, <laughs> in when we done when we were I've never had a black girlfriend. Okay. So I've never like continually dated. Like I've seen a black girl before. Mm -hmm. Um but no, I'm definitely like, look, everyone asks, everyone, I should, I guess I figure should make a tweet of this, but like, does Jeff, does Jeff you know, does Jeff, didn't, does Jeff date black women? Does Jeff needs a black woman in his life? It's like all this stuff. And I'm like, look, Jeff is absolutely down with a swirl. Like, hey. <laughs> like oh, look, it doesn't matter. I don't, it, I don't discriminate. It's do we do our personalities vibe with right. each other? That's the most important part. I don't. A lot of times, because everyone's like, oh, do you have a type? I know people trying to set me up now, and they've sent me a list of five different women in New Orleans, and they all look like Reagan. I'm like, look, I'm not, I don't have a type. <laughs> I don't have a type at all. If yeah. anything, I'm going to date the opposite. And mm -hmm. I have been doing that. So mm -hmm. it's like, I don't think I've dated, I'm not going to date, a, I'm not going to go out on a date with a blonde girl right now. I'm kind of almost being, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's so, triggering maybe, you know, it yeah, might be triggering. I will. I don't, I don't. Tamika, Tamika's like, you look, you need a Creole girl in your life. You need mm. to, uh, and I said, I'm down for anything. I'm 100% uh, down. Nice. How, how are yeah. your DMs lit right now? You get a lot of women sliding in your DMs. Oh, my. Yeah. Like, what's up, Jeff? It's going, going down <laughs> is an understatement. Um, <laughs> it's just, look, I, I want people, <laughs> they're never going to be, I don't know what it would be like to be a woman uh, because I, I, I hear about the, some of the things that they get. And that's, these are people that aren't on TV. Mm -hmm. uh, some people cross the line. They cross it really fast. And it's just like, all right. But, yeah. yeah, the DMs are pretty crazy. And, but I think the thing I like the best about the DMs are just people sharing their stories and, like, me actually some identifying with, hey, I went through this same exact thing mm -hmm. and being able to help them. I, I like that. I mean, I'm a, I would say I'm a pretty good guy. I mean, ex probably thinks – the opposite you know she always wants to start stuff with me but that's why we're divorced and um i'm always trying to help people and that's so i think that's the reason why i do all that because i message a lot of my dms back like always just because oh, if, some, if nice. someone's showing me love i'm always going to show, show them love back, back. Yeah. so mm -hmm. if i don't get you know i don't, i'll get especially after like an episode i'll get two three hundred and i'll answer them all like oh, wow. spend, spend an hour two hours is you know if in do as much as I can. I do that. I mean, it's work like anything else. But, um, you know, when I have downtime, I try to go through them and actually like read it and answer it. Mm -hmm. And then and people will send me their life story and all this. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I try to do what I can. But, um, yeah, I, it's it's not like I'm going to randomly just, oh, look, hey, I fell in love with you. You sent me this DM and you just convinced <laughs> me. <laughs> you know, I, I'm pretty old fashioned where I have to see people in person and I want to meet yeah. people. And, you know, it's just... 
I'm in no rush. Yeah. It's not yeah. a thing, right? I yeah. mean, if you did take a date from from your DMs, would you have John like help you go through yeah, them? Yeah, he can kind of like, he okay, can screen. Okay. I would either have John do it. Tamika, Tamika's gonna say no to everyone. Yeah, I was gonna say Tamika might not. I see, be a look, good Tamika idea. has the worst taste in women too. <laughs> like, look, she's because outside of the show, like, look, there's plenty of she's got plenty of male friends that like you know because she's an anchor, and so there's plenty of news guys that are working. They're like, hey, Tamika, set me up, and I hear it from all of them. Like, look. Don't trust Tamika. She has worst <laughs> taste. She's gonna say no to everyone. Like, stay away from Tamika from for dating advice. And you know, <laughs> so yeah, I probably have to go with John with that. But at the same time, you know, whatever. All, my mm-hmm. friends are all here. John got you real Rico suave with the with the makeover. It looks mm-hmm. like you're keeping it up well. You're yeah. looking good. Oh yeah, of course, of course. I, <laughs> it was a. Uh, uh, it was a physical, you know, makeover, and it changed my lifestyle. And um, yeah, I still go and see the same hairdresser, Dustin. Dustin is amazing. He's in New Orleans, and okay. uh, you know, I keep up with that, and I try to um, keep up with my appearance and do all that. And I'm always working on my physical appearance in the gym, and always trying to cut weight and train with Barry, train with John, and right. You know, now we got to get Justin. Uh, we okay. gotta get him nice and cut and lean, yeah. and uh, we, we're trying. We're trying to be the hottest guys on Bravo. So uh, okay, <laughs> sorry, like a Bravo calendar. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna start that they Bravo could. calendar. The 2020 <laughs> calendar. That's a great idea. That's yeah. a great idea. <laughs> get everyone together. Start that Bravo calendar. I mean, look, when your audience is 90, 95 percent women, like you know, look, at least at least let there be some eye candy because yeah, you're gonna do the same sure. on a ma- on a male yeah. network. So um, yeah. Know, like whatever we can do yeah yeah speaking of that like the fan base being mostly women i want to know like how is it for you like what is the difference between like your football fans and like reality tv fans uh for the most part like the reality tv fans they they don't they could care less about sports mm. but not to, not to like stereotype but it's just like it's like I can post, cause you gotta notice what you post, what mm-hmm. gets engagement, what doesn't get engagement. I don't, I post nothing about sports really anymore, unless I'm like out playing or doing something, unless mm-hmm. it involves me or I'm at a game. It's like no one cares who won, no one cares if this person <laughs> got MVP, and like, cause I'm the look. You look at other like um, people on Bravo. You look at other males, and they'll they'll tweet about things or they'll post, and you look at it, and no one cares, you know, and so. It's more just about your lifestyle and what you're doing in your life, being interesting. And so um, I would, it's interesting. I, yeah, I think that women just want to know what men are thinking. Mm-hmm. What, you know, the same with as a guy, if I'm single and, you know, another female single, it's like, what, well, what do women want? Let's, well, what do men not want? You know, it's the yeah. same universal question because, like, we have different brains. We think differently. Mm-hmm. So. Nice. We're kind of off this topic, but I want to backtrack just a little bit because yeah. I really want to know what happened with this. So Reese proposed with Reagan's grandmother's mm. ring. Did you feel some type of way about this? Like, did her family offer the ring to you at all? Can I not, you're can I not talk up. about this? You don't want to talk yeah. about it? No. Okay. okay. <laughs> so he feels some type of way. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, yeah, maybe to be continued. If okay. We, okay. If this gets, it, you know... Um, this might maybe make we'll it into a, the show. Maybe we'll get a reunion. Maybe we'll get a reunion and we can bring it all out there. Okay. Ooh. Because there's a few, there's a, there's a lot. Look, if you want to look at like reunion material, I probably have a, uh, well, a relationship. We were married six years, so I have six years of material. Oh, okay. <laughs> that means he's bringing the heat. Isn't okay. Oh, absolutely. I'll bring, I know she'll bring it. Uh, right. Everyone. That, that's a funny thing. It's like we're all friends. We all have things. I know Tamika's mad at everyone. I'm mad at Tamika. She's mad at Reagan. Like who? We go along and we have we're a really good group of friends. But at the same time, we have all we have all this drama that we're always have, trying to pick with each other. And but a divorce is always going to probably have the most. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's yeah. Let's not talk about that. Okay, all right. Okay. I'll I'll save that one for later. Okay, we can talk about it. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'm at like- the end. Even yeah, even if like there's not a reunion, come back at the end of the season and we there can we, we can go over this again. <laughs> <laughs> but now uh, you 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 spoke about like all of you kind of being upset with each other. We had Tamika here last week, mm-hmm. and she was saying how the first season you guys like watched the show together a lot. And I think we have a photo of like last season when you guys were like all watching the show, live <laughs> tweeting and everything. Do you think you yeah. guys are going to get to a point where you guys can all watch the show again? One big happy family again. 
Yeah, I think so. I mean, um, I would say uh, most of us by the by the end of this season, well, a lot of us do end in a good spot. Mm-hmm. But it's just one of those things where it's kind of like, because we go on a trip this year, and it's I think I think we have a lot of fun. Like mm-hmm. I know we. I mean, I remember it. Like I had the best time in the world. Maybe yeah. everyone else did it because I don't know. Be you know, I don't know what. Sometimes you don't know what goes on in other people's lives or what mm-hmm. they were doing on the trip or what or what's going on. You know, behind the scenes. So, um, yeah, one of our trips that we have coming up is unbelievable. I had the best time of my life, and you're wow. going to see. Wow. Where did you guys uh, go? Where did you go? Where did you go for the trip? Uh, I don't know if I can re- say that. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. We'll yeah. We'll so, wait, like, right, I don't want to we'll give wait. away too much, like, coming up. I know, like, just this episode and the, and the following one, like, yeah, I mean, in this one, this is my low point for mm-hmm. sure. And I think it was probably even worse living it than having to rewatch it because I've, I've progressed so much since this episode. Mm-hmm. Just, with, you know, a lot of things I've made personal choices on that I can talk about later. And I think we do cover a lot of it in the season but i mean this episode is always hard to watch because it's just like man i was in such a low point but i think it was finally where like everything hit me mm-hmm. it was look we're gonna have a couple tough episodes when we cover that. i mean you guys are gonna watch it and you're just gonna be like oh, oh good. <laughs> you know yeah like a few it's, yeah yeah a few yeah, days ago, you, you tweeted uh, about Tamika, like, Tamika, uh, you're, how is it going as you being Team Reagan? <laughs> like, it seems like you felt a way about that. But then in this episode, I feel like she kind of came, you know, to your defense or just came to help you and kind of, like, in a, you know, in a sense of words, get you together, I guess. Do you feel like she was more Team Jeff in that moment? That she kind of, you know, stopped you from, or at least tried to stop you from getting doing she, too much? I think she's starting to leave the dark side and come... Uh... <laughs> Oh, oh, that's the dark side. Okay. The dark side. Okay. okay. And come to the light. Just come into the light. Look, I got, to <laughs> I got to throw a little bit of shade always. So, yeah. I, you know, I'm happy for Reagan. And I'm, ha- I'm, you know, I think the best thing that ever happened was, you know, moving on. Because I always do, I do care about people. And I always, I never want people to be in a worse place when, you know, when things are done than, than with moving forward. And it would be, if the roles were reversed... I would feel bad all the time, you know, mm-hmm. uh, if she was just alone and I was getting, you know, I was pregnant and well, getting someone <laughs> pregnant, you know, and remarried and all that. And she was single. I, I would probably feel bad about it. But um, do you think she feels she feels bad at all? No, <laughs> yeah, well, not I think, like she knows me. I wouldn't feel bad for me. I mean, uh, um, things are good. I don't think she uh, I don't know. I don't know. You would have to ask her. Okay. I don't think, I think it's a, I, our relationship was bad um, towards the end of it. It was, we had great times. We had great moments. It just, it had expired. I think a lot of it came down to just who we were as individuals mm-hmm. and just kind of wanting different things in life. And um, as long as she's happy now, you know, it just, she can only control her. I can only control me. Yeah. And I finally, I've, feel like I'm coming back to who I've always been mm-hmm. and uh yeah there's a there, we'll go through a lot this season so you're gonna see I just don't want I don't want to spoil yeah. it okay enough. just a pretty early yeah no no worries um should we get to the I guess, yeah I was gonna say let's lighten it up a little bit <laughs> oh wait to... look I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go to Essence tonight so yeah I'm, I'm excited turn yeah. up for us right Oh, I wish will. we could be there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, so we're gonna play uh, two games with you. Um, okay. So we're gonna have you want to go first? Yeah, I'll, game? okay. We'll I'll go first. go first. So we're gonna pay, play kill, marry, or kiss. Seems like you're familiar with this. Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna go through your castmates and see who you would rather kill, marry, or kiss. So we'll start with Reese. <laughs> Kill, okay, marry, so, or well, kiss. Okay, wait. Uh, don't I have three options, and then I have to kill, marry, or kiss one? So I'm just going through each person on the show, and okay. and then you can either kill, yeah. marry, or kiss that Them. person. Yeah, we're doing it a little like the opposite way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so would you rather kill, marry, or kiss Reese? Kill. Okay, kill that was quick. Yeah. Kill him? Oh, okay. Kill I'm him. not going to marry or kiss him. Uh, right, right, right. All right, Reagan. Reagan, kill. 
Dang. Okay. I mean, what, what am I supposed to do? No, I <laughs> mean, right. you've you're already right. married her. So. Yeah, so I already married her. I don't need to kiss her because she's married. So I guess I have to kill you her. You got to kill her off. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Tamika. Tamika. I don't want to kill. Uh, right now, I want to kill Tamika. Yeah. You do. Uh, can, I, can, I, can I like. Yeah. I don't want to marry Tamika. I mean, Tamika's scary. I'm not going to. I mean, this this puts me in an awkward situation. Because like, you're friends with Barry. I'm friends with Barry, and she's married. So <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure I'm Barry kiss, will I'm understand. Not kiss a married woman. I'm not missing. A, I'm not kissing a married woman, and so it could be it. like a kiss on the cheek. You Barry wouldn't mind. Okay, kiss, kiss on the hand. Okay, right. okay. okay, like a there true gentleman. <laughs> what about uh, Kelsey? Um, kiss. Kiss her. Okay, Justin. And these are, these can be platonic kisses. Okay, I'll shake Justin's hand. Okay, okay. that's like a kiss. Yeah. Okay, John, yeah. Moody. Same. Uh, look, we uh, our our bromance is stronger than marriage. Oh. So, so we're bonded. Look, it's, I it's not, love it's that. Not, I mean, oh yeah, keep going. <laughs> All right, and Barry. Same, same. Look, hey, John. The bromance with John, look, I get the same thing with Barry. Even though I'm going to disappoint Barry at times, Barry's always there for me, too. He's Aww. always there. He's like a dad, you know, because the crazy thing about Barry is we don't realize that Bay- Barry's at least 10 years older than everyone. Oh. So Barry, you know, he has not aged since he's been 22. Right. And, uh, it's crazy, but he's got a lot of wisdom. Mm. Okay. So you learn a lot from him. I learn a lot because he always. I mean, look, he's got to. He's got to keep it cool uh, with Tamika's wife. So right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> What's one thing you would say Barry has taught you that you like hold close to your heart? I'm sure he's taught you patience. a lot. Patience mm. always. You know, it's always patience with Barry. So he's like, look, you know, you don't have to. That's hard. Look, I don't have patience. <laughs> right. You That's always him. something good to gain. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to switch over to my game, which okay. is like a, a this or that. So I'll give you like two options. You'll choose which one, you know, you like over the other. Um, and I have about five of them. So I'm going to give you 15 seconds to answer them. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. And we're starting now. So jambalaya or crawfish etouffee? Crawfish etouffee. Okay. Mm. A hurricane or a French 75? Hurricane. Uh, beignets or king cake? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> hurry, hurry. Okay, I'm going to let you pass your 15 seconds. King cake, okay. Um, jazz Fest or Essence Fest? Ooh, Essence Fest. Yeah. Jazz Fest has been played out for a while. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, no Jazz Fest. Okay, we went over the 15 seconds, but that's fine. Okay. Yeah, Jeff, you're amazing. Tamika, I'll let you play, Tamika had a game. problem uh, answering the, the, the king cake oh, yeah, or the, the, the beignets. beignets. Yeah. She, that's it's a hard, hard choice look, for her. Tough, like, being here, like, that's a tough, because they're both so great. You yeah. only get king cake springtime of the year, but it's like, yeah, it's yeah. tough. Yeah, yeah, but she chose king cake as well. She was like, ah. Yeah, you know? it was a toss-up. Yeah. Yeah. Right, look, that's a good question, obviously, if everyone's stalling on right. it. Right. Like, like, oh, which one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was shocked with the Jazz Fest, though. I thought that was still, like, kind of a popping, happening thing. Oh, it's, it's – if you're here and you're in – I think what it is, is it's gotten too big. Mm-hmm from what it used to be it's just gotten too big and you and the artists haven't have kind of been it's been They're like uh yeah, yeah like it's because i think it's just become like an older thing okay gotcha. an older crowd okay. and it's not like it, they just need i think they need a bigger spot mm-hmm. they need a bigger spot for because it's gotten so big i mean it, what's fun about jazz fest what i do like are the parties like the house parties look i remember being at one of my friend's house and you know uh you know stevie wonder showed up Oh, like nice. stuff like that. Oh, like you have yeah. like just random, like it's crazy. The house parties during Jazz Fest are great in the time of the year and all that's good. But the the, the event itself is French Quarter Fest is a, is a better time in my mind. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, is there anything else that you want to share with us? Anything like that you're doing outside of the show or just anything that you would like to share? Oh, um, I can't. I kind of keep things on the wrap, wraps right now because of what happens at the end of the season. So, okay. um, yeah, to be continued, you can always, you know, like on my, I'll be, once I can, I'll share a lot on Instagram. But, uh, you know, things, 
you don't have to worry about me. This one, I get through this episode. The next couple tough ones, but uh, I've enjoyed all the support. You mm-hmm. never know what the, the audience is going to react or what they're going to think, or because we we never know. You mm-hmm. know. A lot of times when we film this, and um, from my end, everything's been really positive, and I thank everyone. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Where can people uh, find you on Instagram? Where can they slide in your DMs? No, Instagram is my name, J E F F Charleston, mm-hmm. like the city, C H A R L E S T O N. So it's just my name, Jeff Charleston. And then my Twitter is Hefe Charleston because someone had Jeff. Oh, okay. oh hilarious. <laughs> I like that though. Boss yeah. Charleston. Boss That's what Char- that means. Yeah. Boss. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. I get to be a little, I get to be sassy on Twitter. And yeah. So yeah. I, look, yeah. I, threw, I should throw so much shade because I love it. It's, I love it. I yeah. love that. That reminds me of like being in the NFL, being in a locker room, you know. How do you survive a very stressful environment? You tear each other down. You just make fun of each other <laughs> all day long. And look, good friends can do that. That's what yes. they realize. Like mm-hmm. Some people were like, man, you're so petty. It's like, no, good friends do that. You make fun of each other. Like, mm-hmm. that's what builds us up. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, guys. Yes. A lot of fun with you. Definitely. And I do hope that you join us at the end of the season as well, because we will have some absolutely, more things to talk absolutely. about. Absolutely. Anytime I'll come on, I've enjoyed today. Yeah. And look, keep watching, because it's uh, this one's crazy. <laughs> it's really crazy. So. <laughs> we yeah. definitely will. Yes. Yeah, so thank you again. Thanks, Jeff. All right. Thank you, guys. Okay. Right. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye. All right. Man, that yes. was... Yes. Yes. <laughs> so excited for that. I'm so excited for the rest of this season. Yes. Like, it's just going to get better. And better. And better. More I know. drama. He teased a lot, a lot. but without saying too much. Right. So now I'm very anxious mm-hmm. to see what is about to happen. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? And I think the way he was talking about the trip, I think it's going to be kind of a, a big trip. Like, they had mm-hmm. one last season. They just went to someplace just a few miles outside right. of New Orleans. But this one seems like one of those go-away trips, Bahamas or something exactly. like that. And we all know, like, reality shows and trips are like yeah, that's, when it that's all a recipe yes. for <laughs> for drama for yes, sure yes 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 yeah oh, we're I can't so wait. excited yeah. Um, Yeah, so once again, guys, just make sure you join us here on Sunday Mm -hmm. to go over the next episode of Southern Charm New Orleans. I guess it's going to go down. We're going to see the aftermath or the continuation of uh, Jeff getting upset at the housewarming party and Mm -hmm. Tamika trying to calm him down. Also, Tamika getting kicked out. So, yeah, yeah, we're going to go over all of that next week. Thank you guys again for joining us. I am your host, Elle Marie. You guys can find me on Instagram and on Twitter at Elle Marie TV. Yes, you guys. And I am Ashley Marie. And you can find me on IG at Ms. Ashley Marie. We'll see you guys on Sunday. See ya. Bye. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first. We're the biggest in the world. And we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.